Hello YouTube, my name is Joe and welcome to my workshop. Uh, about a year ago, I shared uh, insulating this sliding barn door and uh, insulating was pretty straightforward. It was pretty simple, but weather stripping it was not so simple. Uh, the solutions I could come up with by myself weren't very good. Uh, they they kind of did okay, but they weren't very good. Uh, so today I want to share with you guys uh, the solution that I came up with. So whether you're coming from a, a search or you're coming from that previous video, we're going to talk about brush seals. And the brush seal that I used uh, is made by the j uh company. Uh, so it's made by j And So these are, are brush seals. And so what's really neat about it is the flexibility and the fact that uh, these brushes here kind of move. Uh, and with a sliding door, all the other weather stripping methods that I've used, and I'll talk about those later in the video, but all the other weather stripping methods I used, they just, they would just bind up uh, where finally someone suggested using brush seals and man, uh, that's the ticket. And so let's take a look at, at what I got done and then I'll start telling you a little bit of backstory and, and how I actually accomplished it. So I'm gonna try to keep you guys on a tripod because I'm just not steady and it would give you a better view of what we're looking at. So we'll back you up just a touch so you can see most of the door. And so what I did was I was uncertain of what I really needed. So I reached out to Jason at j and uh, said, what, what are your suggestions? So going along the top is a 45 degree brush. And along the sides, they're just, uh, I believe they call them a one inch brush. And so let's, let's take a closer look at what we have going on here. Once again, keep you guys on the tripod. Uh, and so that brush there is, here is what they look like. That brush there is coming in at a 45 degree angle. And so once I attached it to that, that top board there, uh, it will, it really puts a lot of surface down. Uh, you can see that those brushes there, uh, they're probably about 3 16 an inch going across. I believe you could buy a heavier duty one that has more bristles. Uh, but for this application, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty darn pleased. Um, only issue that I have is that it kind of lined up. I've got a, a a ripped two by four underneath there. So it kind of lines up right at the very edge where I transition up OSB, but I'm pretty pleased. Now going along the, now going along the outside, uh, that corner transition was a little tricky, but it's, it's in there pretty good. And then I'll lower you guys down and uh, I have these little cam latches. I had to move my latch inside just a little bit but that brush is right brushes uh the the lock goes right by that and uh and you just kind of push this up against there and put screws in i got a couple more screws to put in but i'm 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 real pleased let's back you up a little bit and so you can see that all you do is you keep you keep pushing that brush across and and fastening screws uh the framework uh, these frames here were aluminum and they sent you uh, self-tapping screws and so you could pre-drill it if you want but I was able to just kind of push it up against the door and screw it tight. So let's go look at the outside. So now we're looking at the outside of the door. Uh, outside of the door is a little tricky. Uh, I have about a 7 16 inch gap to allow for uh, you know, this door goes right there, that, that line in the concrete, that's my center of my barn. And so that's a little ridge that you have to get up and over, but that worked out really well. Um, little, little funny there, that corner had to be done. Uh, and that's not, probably too professional, but 
that really did a pretty good job of making sure it's going to seal off. And I'll probably just put some caulk in here to kind of make sure no air is moving down in there. Um, you can see that that hugs the ground pretty good. I came out here late last night and looked for light shining. And I honestly didn't see any, which makes me pleased. Strongly considering uh, purchasing some more of this and then putting a NAR set going along the outside. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd be able to do anything on top of the door here, but going along this outside and this other side here, just to make sure that any airflow gets slowed down. So the process honestly was really simple. <laughs> uh, I probably spent less than two hours uh, taking apart the old weather stripping that I used and putting the new weather stripping um, brush seals back up. Uh, and so what I had before was along the top of the door, I was using uh, basically the weather stripping off the bottom of a garage door. And I just kind of nailed that up on a similar angle. And it worked okay, uh, it, but, it, but it would drag pretty, uh, with a lot of resistance. Uh, on the insides of right, on the inside here, I still have some like peel and stick style uh, weather stripping, and, and that seemed to do good, except for at the tops of the doors, it would drag, and it would just drag and it'd peel back, and I'd stick it back in and peel back. Uh, then along the floor, then along the floor, <laughs> I just was using some old uh, entryway rugs. Uh, I'd roll them up and put them in front of that doorway, and it seemed to help. It, it did seem to help, but they'd get covered in dust. They'd uh, always get moved around. Um, now, with that being said, I, I will consider still uh, possibly putting brush seals on the outside of the door as well. Possibly even putting uh, some brush seals on the inside of the door. My door does swing out. It doesn't go through a roller at all. Uh, and so I don't think that it would get hung up on anything. Uh, like I said, when I pull the door and unlatch it and slide it, it does swing away from the wall a little bit. So I think I would be in pretty good shape for brush seals on the bottom as well. But man, I'm happy. Uh, I wanted to share this with you guys, uh, because I've been, I still get some comments like, well, what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? And, and that's the big question. Um, so uh, I will leave a link to Jason's videos on installation. Uh, I didn't really do much installation videos just because his were so good. Uh, so I will leave a link to his videos. Uh, I will leave a link to uh, his company. Very pleased with uh, the product. Uh, very pleased with uh, him answering any questions I have. And that's what we want out of a good out of a company, right? That's what we want. So, uh, this is Joe signing off. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.